Today we are going to cover island and peninsula receptacle outlet requirements using the 2023 National Electrical Code, also referred to as the NEC. And we're going to do it using NFPA Link, easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards. Let's get started. So from my desktop on Link, I'm going to open the 2023 NEC and navigate to section 210.52C. I scroll down the left hand side here and navigate 210.52 and we're going to make our way down to what well, we see 210.52 covers dwelling unit receptacle outlets so it's important to point out that we're talking about island and receptacle outlets within dwelling units and also that those receptacles are 125 15 and 20 amp, which are your typical kitchen receptacle outlets in most cases so navigating down to C, it covers countertops and work surfaces, but if we move down to C2, now we're talking island and peninsula countertops and work surfaces. So the base statement here is receptacle outlets, if installed to serve an island or peninsula countertop or work surface, shall be installed in accordance with 210.52C3, which is the next section down. We'll get to that in a minute. But before we do that, I wanted to point out the change that was made between the 2020 NEC requirement here and the 2023 NEC requirement, which is rather significant. So right now, as it's stated in the 2023 NEC, receptacle outlets, if installed, have to be installed in accordance with 210.52C3. So now there's an option whether or not an actual receptacle outlet gets installed as far as the 2023 NEC. That's significantly different than what it was in the 2020 NEC. So if we click on this change delta here within link, it's going to pop open another window. Now what we're seeing here on the right hand side is the 2020 NEC text for this section, uh, which stated that at least one receptacle outlet shall be provided for the first nine square feet or fraction thereof of the countertop work surface. So that was the initial statement. We had to have at least one receptacle within that first nine square feet or any any less uh, amount of square footage because it would then be the fraction thereof. Second part was a receptacle outlet shall be provided for every additional 18 square feet or fraction thereof. So in that case, if we got beyond the nine square feet, we would need a second outlet. And combining those two, if we got beyond 27 square feet, we would be looking at a third outlet and certainly if an island went bigger than that, we could get into a fourth outlet potentially. Uh, so within the 2020 NEC, there was going to be at least one receptacle installed in an island, uh, regardless of the size that was going to be required. Looking back at the 2020, or excuse me, 2023 NEC, uh, and let's just close this out. So we're looking at the initial uh, part here. Um, it, it states that if they're installed, they have to follow 21052C3. The second sentence is very important. If a receptacle outlet is not provided to serve an island or peninsula countertop or work surface, provision shall be provided at the island or peninsula for a future addition of a receptacle outlet to serve the island or peninsula countertop or work surface. So in this case, we're not necessarily required to install a receptacle, but if we don't install a receptacle, we need to make sure that there's a future provision in place in order to install a receptacle at a later date. Potentially a, a new homeowner buys it and wants to put a receptacle outlet in the island where the previous homeowner didn't. Um, moving on to three, and I'm gonna open that change delta again so we can see the change here in 21052C3. So there's three different options essentially uh, if we're going to install a receptacle within a island or peninsula countertop or work surface that we can uh, utilize. Uh, and I'm gonna go back and forth a little between the 2023 and the 2020 here. So look, the left side or the middle of the page is the 2023. Uh, it can be installed on or above, but not more than 20 inches above the countertop or work surface, which is identical uh, wording for the most part as to what we had here in the 2020 NEC. Um, moving down to sub item two in the 2020, it could be installed in countertop or work surfaces. So a receptacle that is uh, installed within the countertop surface just has to be installed within a 
uh, listed outlet assembly in that case. So they make um, different uh, pop-up type outlets that can be mounted right within the countertop um, that you can utilize in these applications now, but it has to be listed uh, in order to be utilized. Sub item three in the 2020 allowed for receptacles to be installed below countertop work surfaces as long as they were not more than 12 inches below the countertop or work surface. And also that it didn't uh, get installed in a location where the countertop or work surface would extend six inches or more than six inches beyond its base. That sub item three is entirely gone from the 2023 NEC. If we move back over to the 2023 NEC, we are no longer allowed to install any receptacle below the countertop or work surface level. So our options here, of course, we have the initial on or above, uh, but not more than 20 inches. Sub item two in the 2023 permits within a countertop using a listed receptacle outlet assembly for use in countertops. And then also three is in a work surface using a receptacle outlet assembly listed for use in work surfaces or listed for use in countertops. So depending on what it's rated for, uh, if it's within a work surface, if it's listed for use within a work surface or a countertop, it can be utilized. Within a countertop, uh, it must be uh, listed for use within countertops. So that's a big change. So if we open the enhanced content here in the 2023 NEC, it gives us essentially what turns out to be three different options. We can install based on option number one, meaning it can be installed above the countertop, but not more than 20 inches above. So these applications are gonna be island or peninsulas that typically have that second tier that steps up that, and then uh, provides a backsplash where the receptacles could be mounted. Option two, again, is that pop-up outlet assembly that's cored right into the countertop or work surface, but it must be an assembly that is listed for being installed in that application. And if we don't put any receptacle in at all, that's okay based on the 2023 NEC, but we still have to put a provision in for a future receptacle to be installed. So the provision that's shown here with the junction box, likely a piece of NMB cable coming up from the basement level uh, that's protected by uh, flex there, that is just an option that's being shown here uh, for that future provision. Now the NEC does not uh, give any specifics to that future provision, how it needs to be done, where it needs to be located, anything of that nature. So that's going to be entirely up to the AHJ uh, to determine that. So as an installer, it's likely a good idea to reach out to that AHJ and determine what their expectation is gonna be around that future provision installation. We hope that this video helps you to better understand the code requirements for island and peninsula receptacle outlets in the 2023 NEC. Be sure to visit nfpa.org front slash link and give Link a try if you haven't already. As you just saw, Link is truly a window to productivity.